Good morning. Today I'm going to demonstrate that request and response objects that we use to send the data from the server and receive the data are in fact streams, at least in Express.js. That means that you can continuously feed them in with data and they will update the client sending data in chunks. This technique is also known as long polling and it means that the client will make the request as usually, but then the server can either send the data after some delay or it can even send it continuously without closing the connections. And it also can store the pool of connections. And before WebSockets, this technology was used as a basis to... Let's see what I mean. I'm gonna launch the server, yarn start. It's running. And now in a separate tab, I'm gonna curl HTTP local 3000 date. And I'm going to continuously get updates through response object with the tick and my client ID. I can actually launch a bunch of those with different IDs. Hello1 getting ticks and in different tab hello0 is still getting ticks. So the server supports multiple clients. It's sending them updates through HTTP protocol just by sending the data. I can also open this URL in the browser, localhost 3000 date, and I will also get the text updates. Now let's see how it works and build our own server. So let's start by creating a new node application. You already know how to do it if you watched my previous video. We run npm init minus y and it will generate our package.json. Now we can install the dependencies. We're going to use Express.js. So I run yarn add express. Now we can create our application file. Touch index.js and open the code editor. Let's open the package JSON and add start script. Start will run node index.js. Now go to index.js and first let's make the necessary import. And in this app, we'll only need to import express. const express equals require express. And now we need to initialize the express application. const app equals express. Then we need to define the connections pool. It will be just an array. const connections equals an empty array. We're going to store our connections here. After we have the connections, we can define the date route. App get date. We pass a callback with request, response, and next. Inside of this callback, we need to set the headers. Response set header content type text HTML character set is UTF. 8. We also need to set another header, res set header, transfer encoding. It needs to be chunked. This is the header that allows us to continuously send the data to the clients. After we are done, we push the response to the connections. Connections push res. Okay, this is how we we'll receive the connections and now we need to create a ticking logic where we will loop through the connections and send them chunks of data. Let's define current tick to be zero. And now set timeout. We pass a function to it called run. We need this function to be named because we will call set timeout recursively inside of each set timeout call. It will allow us to have better control over delays. So inside of this run function, I'm going to log the current tick value and then if plus plus tick which means that we first add one to this tick and then we compare it with the limit and in our case the limit will be const limit equals 20 so every 20 ticks we will actually reset the connection if the current tick is bigger than limit so more than 20 then we map through the connections, connections map 
we get the response objects from them and we write the message and to each of them res write and and then we close the connection res and when you write the data using the write method when you write the data into the response object using the write method you're not just sending the message and then closing it automatically in fact you need to if you want to close it you need to pass and some of the methods automatically send the data and then close the connections for example methods send or render or some other methods that render templates or send files after we send the final chunk of data and close the connections we can reset the connections array connections equals empty array and reset the tick tick equals zero now this is what we do when the tick is above the limit normally when it's still below 20 we look through the connections connections map response index and then for each connection which is a response object we write hello index this is just an index of the connection and current tick is tick and then next new line then we need to run set timeout with run recursively set timeout run and delay delay will be one second which is 1000 milliseconds const delay equals 1000 and now we specify delay in our top level set timeout delay now we can launch the server app listen 3000 and then we pass a callback that will say console log the server is running on port okay actually i would like to move the port to a constant const port equals 3000 port and this should be a template stream now let's go back to the console and run our server yarn start now we can curl localhost 3000 date and it works just like before we can also go to the browser and also get the updates Thank you for watching, I hope this video was useful and educational. If yes, then subscribe to my channel, like this video and also join my Discord server to pick the topics for the next videos. See you next time.